Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. It is I, Raznek, and we are on the North Atlantic for fishing. North Atlantic. We're out here doing some line fishing, long lining. Uh, we did some deep lining in the previous episode. Today we're going to do some long lining. Oh, slow down, Lenore. Slow down, Lenore. Oh, crap. Oh, man, I am I'm still learning how to steer this boat. Uh... It's, it's a little tougher than Barent Sea. Barent Sea, um, I think they've improved the physics. Barent Sea felt a little arcadey, but this one feels, uh, you know, kind of tough sometimes. This is Lenore. This is our boat, Lenore. Long Legs Lenore is what I call her. It's from maybe Forrest Gump. Wouldn't it be fun to do some shrimp fishing? Ah, <laughs> that'd be cool. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Oh, come on. I need, to, I need to learn. I need to learn control. Something I, I have yet to, to develop. I could edit all this out, and then what fun would it be for you guys? Then you wouldn't watch me suffer endlessly. Um, I am actually playing a beta version of the game because the actual game is broken when it comes to long lines. Uh, I can explain it, but I don't know what's wrong. And after you save the game, and if you have stuff set in the water it won't let you pull it in blah 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 so i put a ticket in and they told me to use the beta until the patch comes out i have noticed when you do long lining it's a little harder to get a perfect than in the previous version of the game in fishing baron sea it's it's a little bit harder to get a perfect i get more goods than perfects now what kind of fish is that that's some kind of weird thingy oh here's another one Nope. So it is harder. And it doesn't give you like a percentage of yield increase, so I'm not sure what it does. Look at he's swiggly. There was a perfect. Boom! Got it. There's another one. Man, the water looks awesome. I like how it's got like the little frothy top to it. I think that's really cool. It'd be really cool if like little chunks of like seaweed and stuff floated by every now and then. I mean, that'd be neat. Just anything to make the game feel more alive. That's every game needs that. It needs to feel a little more alive. Don't you think? Every game. Games like this, Farm Sim, SnowRunner has no trouble feeling alive. Other than I really wish there were animals in SnowRunners, like deer and stuff that would go running out of the woods when you start plowing through them. I think that'd be pretty cool. Um, there we go. 1,135 kilograms of fish caught on that run. Nice. Nice work. Uh, and I got some achievements. I don't think you can see them on the screen. But I got some achievements. Let's look in our hold. Um, catch time. So we have Haddock, Pollock, Kodak, Silver, Hake are those ones that are really squiggly. And then Redfish. So and that gives us the age of them. Now, we can do this ourselves, but what I'm paying people, right? I got people here. You, mister, start longlining. You, lady, start gutting. I mean, I've got employees. Might as well use them, right? So, he's ready to longline, and Emma's over there getting nasty gutting fish. Oh, yeah, get them, Emma. Get them. All right. And while they're working, see, we I can just drive the boat. I can drive the boat, and uh, like in the deadliest catch, I can just sit up here and drink my coffee and smoke my cigarettes, you know, and curse over and over and over again. Sorry, I need to drink water. I need some water. Um, let's see. Yeah, let's grab this one here. We'll let what's his name bring it in. Now it'll probably lessen our catch, but I really. I don't care. I like to watch the little people work. It's fun. It's fun times here on the old Lenore. Yes. Uh, get in there. <sighs> Did it again. They're gonna they're gonna mutiny and ask for a different captain if I don't start catching these things. I know that's for sure. They're gonna. Uh, oh, wrong button. They're gonna mutiny. They're gonna mutiny me. I'm not a great fish boat captain. I've, I've learned in this game you had to be, uh, it's everything. Everything's a little harder. You gotta be a little more accurate. 
Uh, boat control is a little tougher. It's a little sluggish, a little slow. Again, this may just be my vessel. Um, oh, come on, waves. Just It feels like there's a little more bounce to the game, a little more... Uh, slow her down, slow her down, slow her down. I... The buoy is two in the hall area. Uh, suck at this. Suck at this. Is there not GPS for this? <laughs> suck at this. There it goes. I don't even have to hit the button. As long as they get close enough. Oh, what's his name? Hauls them in. Look at all them fishes. Look at them all. Get them, pal. That's right. Thunk. Some improvements that can be made to the game, even though devs, I guarantee, aren't watching this. Look, see how his little hook thing is clipped through there? Can we not fix that? I mean, is that not like an obvious, like, easy thing? Like, maybe bring his animation arm up just a little so it's not like sticking through the side of the boat, maybe? Hmm? Just a thought. Come on, game devs, you can do this. Emma's over here making a mess. Ooh, I like how the blood starts, like, flinging all over the place. See, like this, too. They're fish, like, cutting through the side of the wall. Come on, guys. This is, like, this is basic stuff here. I was doing this earlier, and I saw a fish drop through the bottom of the boat. He just fell right through. There must be a hole in our bucket there. I love how they slam and bounce around, though. That is pretty cool. That is, I, I think that's pretty neat. I don't know what this is for. Uh... Is that all the fish I got? Was 377 kilograms off of that one? What? That's junky. That wasn't a very good line. I'm fishing this ridge here. Uh, ignore these. See, these are my original sets, and the game won't let me pick them up. It's saying, uh, you cannot pick up these long lines because you're set up for long lines. I have no idea why. And then uh, they were 2,000 hook because... This boat, before the update, could use 2,000 hooks. And then I set them, and I saved, and I came back after I updated, and guess what? This boat can't use 2,000 hook long lines anymore, so now the boat says, Oh, your boat's too small. Thanks, game devs. It's alright, these things happen. How long has this been sitting? 20 hours. What we got on this one? We got krill on this one. Maybe that's why we didn't catch too well. Come on, Emma. Got them fish, girl. Uh, so we have 17,000. I keep getting the wrong button. 17,000 uh, kilograms left. I don't think... We have 12 lines in. And even if we got 1,000 per line, we're not going to catch our full load. I went with 12 250 hooks, and I may change that. I, would, I wanted to see how many 12 250s got us. Okay. Okay. Slow her down, Ras. Seriously, what the? <sighs> I'm horrible. Turn it off. Just turn it off right now. Rage quit and turn it off. We're not even going to... I was like, oh, we're going to get all 12 of these done. And then we're going to go into port. And we're going to sell some fish. And we'll be really lucky to get all 12 done because I suck at this. Dude, absolutely horrible at this. This isn't going to work either, watch. Oh, see? Told you. Ah, it did. It magically turned the whole line the wrong way. Look at that game glitching. So look how long this thing is. You're telling me all I got... Oh, he got a good. You can see how he catches. Like, you can see a good. Come on, man. Bring in that fish. Bring it in. Bring it in big time. I think this is a good time for a screenshot. I know the HUD's been hidden. I want the HUD hidden. I want it to remain hidden. I want it to stay that way. <laughs> Action shots! Let's get one more. Let's see if we can get one more. I want to get them in, like, after he swings it. I don't know if any of those were good, but we'll go with them. We'll turn our HUD back on. Then we'll haul this in. And I think what I'm going to do... Uh, you guys kind of get the gist of it, right? And we're filling up our little barrel here. Emma's over here just gutting away. 
And then all these are, like I said, I have 12 of them. So I fished this kind of ridge here. Um, I was sitting there thinking, I'm like, man, I can drive all over the map and look at sonar. But then I got online and I did some Googling <laughs> about real fishing. And uh, I, 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 I can't remember what this was called, but apparently there's like this shallows and then this is like, I don't know. But they said, find, you know, kind of find elevation changes in, in the land and uh kind of they kind of fish those elevation changes the best ones from what i can read are like what they call caps so you have like deep water you have shallow water deep water and then a part that's really shallow and they call these like caps uh in the north atlantic and those are really really good fishing areas they're kind of like plateaus underwater and they're they're, they're shallow areas out in the deep ocean, and apparently, like, those are really good fishing. So this might be good fishing. Um, that's th this, prob this may be good fishing, because you can see there's what they call caps. Um, this might be pretty good. I still want to fish around these little islands. I think they'd be pretty good. I also have learned that if you see birds, which I don't see any. I know a lot of people are having trouble finding swordfish keep hearing that online I keep seeing that in the forums and I've noticed if you see birds if you see like birds flying in the air go towards them because more than likely you're gonna find a school swordfish on the water so if that helps you any although I don't see any birds I'm gonna stick to line fishing because you know kind of really doesn't matter but yeah if we turn our sonar here on the cap like there's a swordfish there we're not moving uh, let's move out but you can see look at all these fish on this area here right along these edges only 477 kilograms that's okay all along these edges so like through here I didn't see any I was like pulling up the sonar and there were little batches here and there and then I got to the edge and I started running the edge and you find like of course this is a thousand meters that you're looking at so that's a huge area so if you zoom in, even at 250 meter, 100 meters, um, you can see that there's a lot of fish here. There's lobster down there. So this area right here, there's a lot of fish. Okay, I think I, I think I said that enough. All right, I'm gonna get these caught up, get them all pulled in, and we'll head into port to see see how we do financially. All right, I'll see you there. Well, we are almost finished, and I went ahead and swapped, um, swap, you know, workers. It's important to, uh, and we're going to give Emma the last couple hauls here. Uh, it helps train up your worker, I think. I think you're, you're supposed to kind of help train them. The more work they do, the better they get at it. So, uh, we put Mikhail over here on Gut and the Fish, and then Emma, oh, you just missed one fired lady no she's got to learn eventually she's got to learn eventually so there you go good job good job honey. good job it's just money every time you miss it it's just money you know not that we need fuel or food <sighs> see she dropped another one. Oh my gosh this is awful this is awful this is a complete failure on my part I, you know the good thing about being a boss is putting the right people in the right positions, and clearly I can't do that. She lost another one. Only 249 kilograms of fish. That's okay. That's okay. She's got to learn. Got to learn. This guy over here, he make he make gutter <laughs> if she doesn't get bring in some fish. But yeah, I think you. Uh, the longer you keep people at a job, they train up at it eventually. They get better. I'm thinking. Zoom in. Could be wrong. Let's get this last one here in, and then we're gonna head into head into town and sell our wares. That's my plan, at least. Oh, wave! I'm learning, learning, getting better at steering this thing. There you go. I love how the boat just stops, like as soon as it grabs it, just auto stops. All right, come on, come on, Emma. All right, that's one. This is a wiggly one. These are the tough ones. <laughs> There's two in a row. Oh, 
She's on a roll, people. She's on a roll. Boom. I think I'm going to do an experiment one day where I just put my long lines in the harbor and I want to see how much fish... Whoa! <laughs> Easy there, girl. She hears me talking about her. Um, and I just want to put them like, in the harbor. Like I'm going to put all long lines like here. I'm going to just put a bunch in here and see if we catch any fish. Or even maybe a way up here. Because if we catch the same amount of fish, even though we didn't go out to sea, then the game's kind of broken. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try it. Because you're supposed to go by what the radar shows you. Wow, this, there's a lot of fish left on here. But, uh, I, I don't know. I don't... <laughs> she just slammed him in there! She's mad. She's mad. Boom! <laughs> Okay, sorry, I'm having a little bit too much fun. Oh, man, I don't... Oh, that, she missed one. I gotta go to work here, like, in, uh, let's see, what is it? Two hours, two and a half hours? I gotta go to work. I'm not excited. I don't want to, but hey, it is what it is. A lot of cod on this run. Must have been what I had on bait. I think I had shrimp on these. These last couple. All oh, right, 644.5 kilograms. Nice work. Nice work, Emma. You go, girl. All right, let's put you to resting. Pinkale over there is gutting. And, yep, you go down below. You worked hard today. Um, What were we going to do? Do we want to go to Dennis Point and sell? Or do we want to go to Yarmouth and sell? Do we want to go over to Lock Lockport? Can go all the way up into Ludenburg. And there's two more ports up here to the north we haven't discovered yet. I want I want to go down here just real quick. Just bear with me. Go down here real quick and then then we'll uh Oh, Mikhail's too tired to work. Oh, I'm so Oh, the German bank. German bank was discovered. Where? Oh, so a German bank right here. Bet you that's there's there's probably good fishing here. Uh, yeah, I bet you there's good fishing there. Cool, so now we have another fast travel point. I bet you that's good fishing here on the German bank. Uh, otherwise it wouldn't be named. I'm assuming. Oh, I gotta put somebody to gut and fish. Because what's his name's tired. Go, Emma. You go, girl. do 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 some swordfish here from 11 days ago, but we're gonna get rid of them. Oh, oh, see, two mystery points. Oh, I found a, a something. I found a boat and I found something else. What did I find? Uh, Seal Island, and then this must have been a boat up here, but now it's gone. I really wish it had, like, I'm not gonna be driving around all the time. This is called Seal Island. I mean, I'm gonna. F I'm not gonna spend all my time just like piddling around. Let's see, let's check the sonar here. It's called Seal Island. Wonder if there's any seals. It'd be cool if there was. Let's see if there's anything cool on it on our little boat that's loaded down with 8,000 kilograms of fish, so it's going to be really, really slow. Really, really slow. We need, like, a little... The game needs, like, a little jet ski or speedboat or something. <laughs> something that just does, like, you know, 30, 40 knots. Just hauls, hauls butt. Uh, I don't see any seals. I just see trees and, and dirt and stuff. Let's travel down here. Alright, so we have a lighthouse. A lighthouse and a little dock here. That's all. Nothing too fancy. Nothing too, fa too fancy. Here down here at Seal Island. Let's go up here. Yeah, 
across land, sillies. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. That that's beautiful. We're getting a screenshot of that. That's just it's just beautiful. All those colors and different stuff. Yep. Had to do it. Um I don't again I don't see anything here. I discovered something, but it it I don't like how it disappears after you find it. I really don't like that part of the game. I wonder what the fishing's like here. You can't go by that because Holy cow, what look there's all those windmills out there. What's that way? Like nothing. Is it like windmills out in the ocean? I bet you it is. We're gonna have to go explore there one day. Unless it's just like terrain distance viewing. That is so cool, look at that. All those windmills out in the distance, that's pretty cool. Let's see what's over here, just some boats on the water. Little, little guy right there. Yeah, this is pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool stuff. So we found Seal Island and German Bank. Let's head into uh, let's head into Dennis Point and sell our wares here. Let's see what kind of money we get on our fishes. Uh, fish on board. Would you like to sell them? Yeah. So all decent price. So seventy five thousand five hundred dollars for half a load. I mean, half a load. We only, we didn't even fill up half of our hull. Not too bad. Cod, haddock, pollock, redfish, silver hake. All pretty decent prices. So let's just go ahead and sell our catch. Let's go to town, hit up the bar, missions. Help deliver cargo to another port. Uh, I don't want to do that right now. And there's no tips. Okay. Let's see if we unlock the sh at the shipyard available. The Toby is what we unlocked. Very good C features. With stable hull, it results in a smooth ride. We can do long lines or nets. Fuelbin. Fuel Fuelbin. That's just a long liner. $150,000. can do 5,000 hook long lines, though. It's a pretty cool looking boat. Looks like a little tugboat. And then the Legend and Full Throttle, which we already looked at those. So, no, thank you. We're not interested. Uh. Shipyard maintenance purchase fuel para hull and general weather. It's supposed to be like cloudy. It's supposed to be uh or foggy. Visibility is gonna be like visibility today is ten point four, visibility tomorrow is one point three. So it's gonna be kinda cloudy tomorrow. Exit. You don't have to be. Able, yeah, well, I want to exit the port because I want to go up here. Just going to fast travel here. I want to see what other boats there are. I, I don't think we unlocked anything, but. Shipyard. The backstabber. <laughs> Reading for harpoon and deep line fishing. The Dexters, we're for fishing cod, pallet, pollock, haddock, and redfish. This thing is huge. Look at that thing. Five million dollars. Oh, it's a trawler. Oh, and that's our snow crab boat. Coaster. Yep. I'm just looking at, I want to look at all the ships. Uh, I guess we're, I want to, tell you what, that's, why we, why we have a couple. Minutes. We really don't have any fish on board. Yeah, I know. I sold a bunch of fish. Um, let's go out here. Clear those. We're going for a long ride. All the way up here. I want to see what's up here. We got a couple minutes. We'll go all the way up here and see. Oops. Thought I hit my button. Why aren't you moving? Oh. That's why. 
little fella almost ran it. Oh, there's a little glitchiness there. Glitchiness. A little fella almost ran into us. That's not good. There we go. We're going to discover these ports just real quick. We're going to get them done. We're going to get it done. Go all the way in in case there's something like discoverable up here. See, I bet you there's something here to find. Wonder if they put something like way up here on the north side. Oh man, I bet you there's good fish in here. See, found something. I found uh, two things. <sighs> My gosh, Grand Manon Island and Ingles Head. Ingles Head is the port. Why? You see how it puts it over top of each other? Bad form. Bad form. I'll tell you what, let's go into Ingles Head real quick. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, this is pretty. It's kind of cool. Kind of a cute little... Like the little boat yard here. It's kind of neat. Let's see what's going on here in town. Let's look at the shipyard here. Just the Knott's Guilty. Knott's Guilty is one of the newest lobster boats built. Okay, so lobster only. Knott's Guilty. I like it. That thing's kind of cool looking. Look at it. That is pretty cool looking. Uh, it's a unique feature that you can haul the lobster pots under the roof on the starboard side. Oh, okay. Huh. Interesting. Interesting! Yep, we're leaving. We don't want to be anywhere near this place. Um, can't travel across land. I know. Man, this could be hard to kind of get into up here. I'm not traveling across land, sillies. God, I gotta leave the port. Actually, let's just do this. Grand Man and Island. Let's look at this real close. We're just exploring. There's a little island. There's this one right there. That'd be cool to live there, wouldn't it? I think it would be. I think it'd be really cool to live there. That's all we can see. Six. It's pretty cool. This game has some pretty cool features, I promise. All right, drive. Let's go this way. We want to go all the way across. All the way across this to the to the shoreline. I'm sure we're going to discover something, and it's going to list them all on one text line where you can't read anything. Oh, stop! So there's something out here in the ocean. Bay of Fundy. I discovered the Bay of Fundy. Nice. Excellent. Bay of Fundy was discovered. I like all these quick points. That's cool because then you don't have to set like waypoints. You can just kind of quick point everywhere around. See? We found something. Digby Gut Lighthouse. The Digby Gut Lighthouse. What a name. I'll tell you what, it's fast traveling there. Into this little. Oh, I want to go. Why would you put me backwards? Silly things. Let's go this way. Something is blocking my way of fast travel. Oh yeah, these boats. They're just kind of in my way. Oh, this is this is a really cool place back in here. Is there a way out up here? No. Digby. The town of Digby has been discovered. Uh, let's let's go into Digby and see what they got for sale there. And then we'll think we'll call it quits for today. Oh, I like this. Oh, yeah, this is cool. Oh, yeah, this one's neat. I like how it's kind of jetted out here. It's kind of cool. Dock at Digby. Let's see here. Dock. Shipyard. Available. No Yankee. No Yankee is a safe and pleasurable boat that handles well in any seas. That's a lobster boat. Max speed 20 knots, so that's a good little traveler, but that's a lobster. That's a tiny lobster fisherman. That. 
And then the Scarlet is a crab boat based on the well-known crab boat called Saga. It's rigged for snow crab fishing. It's a big, big boy. That's a big boy fisherman right there. Look at that thing. That's pretty cool. So we found some, some new little fishies. Some new stuff. I'm telling you guys, there's something over here. I'm telling you. I know, I know it in my heart. There's something over there. Let's go check real quick and we'll call it quits, I promise. I'll quit talking. I'll quit boring you with all this weird stuff. We've only discovered a few boats, so there's got to be more out there. I just don't know where... I'm sure you'll just kind of run into them with time. I'm telling you, I'm going to fish this. I'm going to fish Digby. Just fish this whole area one day. Um... Let's go way up in here. Let's <laughs> hit the sonar. I don't see anything. Woo wee! It's only 27 meters. It's only 7 meters deep right here. Woo, that's shallow. You can't, you can, can't, you can kind of see the bottom. If it was daytime, you can see it better. This beautiful though, and this is really pretty. It's really, really, really cool. Can't believe there's nothing hiding up here. I wonder if it's way up in here. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's see how deep the water is here. Eight meters. Nope. It's not gonna let us find anything. Not gonna do it. <laughs> Some shallow water here. I wish there were just like a giant school of fish right here. That'd be pretty cool. Drop a bunch of like lobster pots and different stuff in here. Yeah, seven meters. Six meters. I don't know what the draft. I'm sure. I'm sure we're okay. But look, you can. Oh, okay. Entering some shallow water. Four meters. <laughs> oh man oh gosh see right here you do some pole line fishing you know with a bobber <laughs> and a hook and some bait all right all right that's it that's enough goofing around for the day thank you everybody for watching i do do appreciate it let me know what you want to see next do you want to see some net fishing do you want to see some lobster fishing we can do both with this boat uh we can do both net we can do deep line, long line, net, and I think lobster or snow crab. I can't remember which one, but either one. I'm pretty sure it's lobster or crab. I can't. I don't. I don't remember. Let me know what you want to see in the next video. Really, uh, do you want to see some net fishing or some pot fishing? You just let me know in the comments, and that's what I will do next. I'm just going to kind of keep progressing along and trying out different stuff on each boat. Eventually, once we're, we've done everything on this boat, we'll get a bigger one. We'll just kind of keep upgrading, trying out different stuff, seeing if we can discover some more boats. There's 20, I think 25 vessels in the game available, and I think we've only seen probably about 10, 15 of them, so there's 10 more out there that we have to discover somehow, somewhere. See, we, we've discovered all these points of interest. Bet you there's something way down here, points of interest here. We didn't get up in here. We didn't get back in this little nook and cranny. I bet you there's some stuff in here. I bet you there's all kinds of stuff to be found. All right, everybody. Take care. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Until next time, stay safe. See you later. Bye.